Greetings from the IGNO Regional Center, Kochi. In today's session on the eve of World Mental Health Day, we are uh, glad to share about the importance of mental health in home and workplace. And uh, uh, mental health includes our emotional, psychological, and social well-being, and it affects of how we think, feel, and act. And it determines how we handle stress, relate to others, and make healthy choices. And it is also important at every stage of life, from childhood and adolescence. So uh, what is stress for somebody won't be the stress for another person. For example, if you are very good in studies, studies is not going to be a stress. If you don't like uh, travel, then it will become a stress. And it will affect of how you are relating to others and make other choices. And mental health is an important part of overall health and well-being. When you are having physical ill health, uh, like uh, fever or something, people can understand that uh, uh, there is something wrong with your body. Whereas mental health is very difficult to understand whether of, of, of another individual, even if you stay in the same place with them in the family setup or work with them in the uh, workplace. And mental health issues relate to various age, depending upon the children, adolescents, or old age, or adulthood also. And uh, it also relates to disability and vulnerable groups. So uh, the major areas of mental health are at issues at school, workplace, family interaction, uh, substance use, ex excessive internet use, crisis situation, mental disorders, provisions for mental health related problem at institution and policy level, and promotion of mental health. And before I go into the mental health at home and uh, workplace, I just want to cover certain facts about mental illness, uh, which is common, which can be uh, generalized to both the workplace and also home. Mental illness are very common. Suppose you have a life event of lo losing so many people in your home. Definitely your social interaction in the workplace will be mi minimized. And unless somebody reach out uh, to make you uh, come from your isolation, you are still going to uh, be a solitary reaper and then loneliness will set in. And others will experience a mental illness at some point in their life and it can be treated and research shows that people with mental illness can get better and may recover completely also so support is needed uh, one side medical treatment is there more than that social interaction itself uh, will ease out many of the mental illness and poor mental health uh, increases the risk for long lasting chronic physical conditions like heart disease stroke and cancer and if you know someone with poor mental health, you have to reach out. That is the main thing. Many a time we don't mind giving money, food or something, but we don't do ourselves with the real-time situation. So when you reach out somebody in the real-time situation, maybe a phone call, and if frequently people are missing your phone call, even though you know that generally that person is friendly with you, then you have to reach out. Similarly, if you are uh, not feeling comfortable attending somebody's uh, physical uh, presence in your family setup or in the workplace, uh, then you need to speak out about why you are feeling so, what is the cause, etc. At least to somebody to first to ventilate your feelings, second is to get help. And helping them to access to mental health services is also possible with so much education increase in the mental health sector and learning and sharing the facts about uh, mental health, especially if you hear something that is not true. And that's why we have taken the resources from already established uh, resources and we are sharing the link also so that self-learning is possible beyond this uh, uh, session on mental health. And the vast majority of people with mental illness are no more likely to be violent than anyone else. 
uh, we always think that they will pick up quarrel or like that it's not so in in fact people with mental illness are more likely to be victims of violent crime than the general population and even if you uh, in your home setup if you are one among the younger family members you are getting nagged every time your freedom of expression will automatically come down similarly in the workplace if everybody is cornering you every time you not only that you won't feel comfortable with them but also you your uh, uh, expression quality even though it is strong uh, maybe outside you are a very good social person but inside the home and the workplace you will become very stagnant and isolated and half of all mental illness occurs before a person turns 14 years and three quarters of mental illness begin before age 24. That's why I initially I thought I'll take only one of the session, but mental health in home is very much uh, determining the mental health in the workplace. Because mental illness occurs in a person before it turns 14 years of age, that means it, it happens at home. So if you are going to be uh, going to send one me uh, mentally ill or person without me good mental health uh, into the society, into a workplace, definitely he or she is going to affect the mental health of the workplace. So that is why I highlighted this. Home, east or west, home is best. But uh, is the mental health best in the home which where you are placed? That is a question which you have to uh, ponder every day so that your mental health is also not affected and you are, uh, you are nourishing others' mental health. So serious mental illness caused a nation in last earnings per year. We study many of the workplace uh, mentally ill person, that is who are not having good mental health. Whenever there is a work, people will wind up and go. And they will say, I am eligible for this leave, that leave. Or if at all nothing, they will uh, they will go uh, on a deputation or something, escaping from current work. So that is not going to be a healthy practice. So how uh, it is going to cost the earnings of an institution when somebody is escaping from work or not having emotional and mental intelligence to sustain the work and complete the work. And mental illness is also caused by a number of factors, including biological factors, stressful or traumatic life events, and long-lasting health conditions such as heart disease or cancer. That's why in, whenever somebody is uh, stressed or facing through a loss, especially loss of life in a family, it is the responsibility of an individual to uh, to uh, reach out for help and also take help when some help is coming. Especially to counsel of how to move ahead without somebody being a part in their life. And checklist for mental health. These are the signs of distress generally which comes and which, get, which affects the mental health. Feeling of fear, anger, sadness, worry, numbness or frustration. And if, and all this will lead to procrastination of the work at hand and workplace. And in your home, if you see, uh, especially very elderly person, they, they show their anger by not eating. They show their anger by not getting up and not coming along, uh, uh, along with you out. So all this behavior manifestation also fits in. And changes in appetite, energy and activity level also uh, is an indicator for sign of distress and difficulty concentrating and making decision. Many options will come for a solution to a problem, but you won't be able to take any solution, even though all the solutions doesn't have any financial commitments. So when, and uh, some will be volunteering to uh, even venture into uh, giving solution, like dropping you on the way, uh, to, uh, to a railway station or a bus station as you're stuck in home so that you can go and meet your relative and come. Then also you won't be able to take a decision. So if you are going through such a situation, it is a sign of distress. In a, in a workplace situation, 
uh, when somebody else is doing the work and you are unable to uh, accept or uh, with politeness that somebody has completed the task but you are throwing tantrums, you need to be cautious with your mental health. And uh, difficulty sleeping or nightmares and uh, uh, physical reactions such as headaches, body pain, stomach problems or skin rashes is also one of the sign of distress and worsening chronic health conditions. And how could mental ill health impact on the person, their family, friends and work colleagues? That is the main question. So because it is the individual who makes the family and who family ultimately sends some individual for economic activity in the workplace and the everything together is, is a society. So uh, mental health problems can affect moods, emotion and behavior. You may feel as if personality is changing and they are not the person they used to be. Especially in the workplace, you when you uh, when there is some when you are heading the institution or uh, and you have a complaint that somebody is raising, and it will be shocked to know that the other the person who who has offended when he was in the beginning of the career was one of the excellent person. So what made him to change? Well, um, all these are said before 14 years. So some of the behavior patterns due to mental health gets uh, subsided due to defined uh, beha uh, behavioral protocol expected in the workplace. That's why if some individuals, they behave very well in the front of seniors, some very well in front of union representatives. So the men, but when it comes to individuals working in the workplace, they won't be showing the same personality. So personality changes are also uh, one of the exhibits when mental uh, health is affected and this can affect your relationship. Every time you throw stone at others, you cannot expect them uh, to be welcome uh, always. So somewhere there will be retaliation, somewhere the behavior will be picked up uh, for offense, as an offense. So your re relationship might also feel unbalanced and likely only do carrying things together. So many a time we uh, as uh, has in the workplace we try to escape from such people who are not doing the work who are mentally uh, uh, what say the behavior shows that they are not in good mental health like they will be slandering in the meeting they will be walking out of the meeting they will be sitting in the meeting and talking something they will they will be holding one meeting inside another meeting and now and then they'll be using restroom, especially when it is their turn to uh, uh, to talk. So all this will affect. Even in our family setup, when you want to, there is a problem, and you want to have a solution. The the real problem passer won't be there in the discussion. Some important work will come, and everybody has to say bye to that individual. So all these behaviors have to be considered to weigh somebody. Uh, uh, of their mental health. And uh, uh, the workplace is a place spent for economic acti activity and we spend more time uh, outside the home in the workplace. And workplace have defined timings, defined shift patterns. And uh, after the pandemic, more so the work from home culture sustained and we have to carry our homework after the uh, work workplace timing is over. So uh, the home also became a uh, second workplace. Uh, and in, in ancient times, we won't be able to say who's the boss of our uh, grandfather or grandmother or uh, some relative. Whereas now, because of the virtual meetings, uh, we can always show this is our boss, this is our uh, uh, subordinate who is venturing because of the virtual meetings. Uh, but the, what are the transactions which are being heard is universally heard in the family. So it will reflect the organization climate of the workplace, uh, uh, of how uh, safe it is or how, in how uh, difficult situation somebody whom we love in a family is working. All that get, gets manifested by the behavior expression of the employees in a workplace. So workplace is also a cause for transmission of infectious diseases as it reflects the heterogeneous health conditions of the individuals and which we have already experienced during pandemic and holds good even in post-pandemic situation. 
so everyone reacts differently to stressful situations such as a infectious disease outbreak and receive social distancing quarantine or isolation and if you have recalled and you are in the front office during the pandemic situation in the workplace and if you are a all rounder you are always posted in the front place and you are falling sick often and whereas some of the uh, bully type employees co workers they hesitate they deviate from the work they escape from the work uh, showing uh, infectious disease outbreak as a cause for doing their work so how uh, amidst the mental health of that individual which gets exhibited in their behavior how we can survive as a, a good worker sustaining the activity of an institution which gives us economic return without uh, we may say that oh they, we are doing so much work that's why one one person uh, told a uh, monday for a, a worker is very difficult but it is more difficult for the monday morning is more difficult for a person who do not have a job so when we have a job for economic activity we have to do justice to our institution who is giving us money by means of salary or wages and people uh, or employees or visitors or also may feel anxiety worry or fear related to their own health status many a time when we sneeze we always think oh we met so many people today uh, so we have caught the disease from them and and somebody else is sneezing they'll say oh that person in our home sneezed that's why i got it so it the health concern is a very big issue not only for an individual but also for the family members and for the uh, workplace co-workers um, who are again representing another family or multiple families in a in a locality and the health status of others whom you may expose to the disease that is also a concern so many a time when somebody comes randomly uh, to our home or um, to our workplace their health status their how they present themselves when they are sneezing all that matters a lot Uh, to express our mental health uh, about our concern for the health of our family and workplace and the resentment that your friends and families may feel if you if they need to go to into quarantine or a result of contact with you that was also there so uh, uh, what will others think the so the image of me as an individual in a family setup in a workplace uh, when my health status is affected is also affects the mental health and the experience of monitoring yourself or being monitored by others for signs and symptoms of the disease see especially during pandemic more than self uh, examination the others were dictating whether that the other person has to go for a uh, check up or not so uh, others monitoring us Uh, about our health status also affect our mental health and the time taken off from work and the potential loss of income or job security and the image of the workplace if somebody is taking even their eligible leave we will be they won't be doing their justice to the worker so we won't be preferring such uh, workers in a workplace so time taken off from the work it also affects the mental health of the individual who is escaping from work also uh, on the uh, employees who are putting in more effort to fill the gap when that uh, escapist employee is not there in the workplace and the challenges of securing things you need such as groceries and personal care items uh, see always the workplace timings are very strict and we always expect the uh, office to be flexible but how flexible our family life can be accommodated to align with the workplace regulations so many a time we see the time oh it is now time my children would have come i have to go home there is so many times we have escaped the office timings to do our personal need work uh, and the personal care items work and how we are going to put it that all will affect the mental health of an individual on the long run so be uh, genuine when you have to give back to the workplace where you are working
and output in the workplace is dependent on the mental health of the employees. So concern about being able to effectively care for children or others in your care also is a concern. So if you have a big baggage, big responsibility uh, at your family friend, yes, sometimes it gets a positive behavior that you also take a higher load in the family setup. But your threshold for taking uh, stress will be very less. So uncertainty or frustration about how long you will need to remain in the situation and uncertainty about the future also determine the mental health in a workplace and a home. And loneliness associated with feeling cut off from the world and from loved, loved ones, especially when you are dislocated due to workplace commitments or you are staying away from your home, it also affects your mental health. And anger if you think you were exposed to the disease because of others' negligence. Or sometimes people will express their anger on you just to get ventilated. So how soft you are and how frequently others are using you to express their anger, even though everybody knows that it is a wrong thing, will affect the mental health of both that person uh, and also the person who is suffering. And boredom and frustration because you may not be able to uh, do the work or engage in regular day-to-day -day activities because once uh, boredom and frustration comes, we won't be able to have the zeal to start a work. We will be only procrastinating and delay in get getting things done will be that. If you are in a workplace and there are files marked to you, there are list of activities given, or you yourself is committing that I'm going to do this uh, live session on this particular day, but you are not able to uh, keep up your word you have to check your mental health. Maybe you are having some issues in your family, friends, which is affecting you to perform well in the workplace. And uncertainty or ambivalence about the situation. So when there is uncertainty about family setup or at the workplace, the mental health of the individual gets affected. And a desire to use alcohol or drugs to cope uh, if it prevails, uh, generally it prevails before the working stage itself and the first person to get affected is the family members and the, more than the individuals. It is not only the health of the individual which gets affected, but also their earning power, their social interaction, their preference in their family and also in the society. And all that have an impact on their earnings in the workplace. And symptoms of depression such as feeling of hopelessness, changes in appetite, or sleeping too little or too much are also an indication of the mental health, which will help uh, or which will have an uh, upper hand in your performance in the workplace and in executing your roles in the home. And symptoms of post-traumatic stress disorder and uh, such as distressing memories, uh, flashback, nightmares, changes in thought and mood, and being easily startled. All this comes, especially when you have a poor uh, uh, organization climate in the workplace and you have a distorted home. So both these, uh, when there is at least uh, many a time we have heard of stories distorted homes get amended up in schools and yes when they land up again in the society in the workplace and the workplace there is education there is employment employee dynamics there is uh, the dislocation there is bias and which which indicate the organization climate in that workplace and also defines the uh, non prevalence of objectivity in top level management so when such uh, attitude prevails, then automatically the mental health of the employees in the workplace gets disrupted. And co-workers with mental disorder may need support, but can't or won't reach out for help. When you see many a time, people will come uh, in time and they'll sleep over the table or they'll come very late. They'll be uh, seeking attention 
and they and they, when when you ask them please come in time they immediately they will say uh, 101 uh, uh, escapes or reasons of why they are coming late and they are all they will also add why you are not in are uh, not asking that other person whereas you would have asked so when such a behavior is there it is really a sign that they are not having optimum mental health to execute their work and if you see their history uh, they will be sending one email and they will be escaping on leave and they won't hand over their uh, work to the executor during their leave condition and they will be sending one medical leave uh, which we can be contesting but we are also leaving as officials in charge of processing their leave and also they won't be so uh, truthful to say of their leave patterns so all this is their ability uh, to hide things so that they don't expose their mental health but their behavior pattern automatically shows uh, how um, distorted their mental health is and many a time they refuse to help uh, accept any help you offer and it is understandable at the time we feel frustrated whoever gives help and we also are distressed and unless the individual wants to get help we cannot help them in mental health that is the uh, main uh, negative point of uh, recovery from mental health so if you are having some stress if you need help to restore back to normalcy you are the one when somebody is reaching out to you to hold the hand grip and take the help and sometimes you might be able to recognize signs that they are becoming unwell due to their mental health condition and you could try and prepare for this by making the list of signs together while they are well so we can say sometimes uh, one decision we would have taken in official setup or in a family setup the say that that decision would have been given by this particular individual but due to poor mental health of them in another occasion the same similar situations will prevail but they will be the one who will be opposing that decision so such distorted inconsistent decisions or adhering to earlier practice it is also one of the manifestation of poor mental health this can make things easier to talk about when you when you do notice things changing so we have to it will be like uh, catching them red handed oh you said that time like this but then they will think that we are opposing them we are not liking them we are not showing our love or respect so they will take the subject to another matter of not being valued or we trying to have a upper hand so mental health is so complex in home and workplace because it is uh, each one knows each other and each knows knows the weakness of others and the uh, only um, uh, problem is that the help if we, if we, if it is given is not accepted so you need to be decide together of how they want you to help if they become well again So it is also important to acknowledge that there are ways, limits to support your offer. I repeat once again, uh, the mental health in a workplace, it determines of how best there is mutual supplementation of each other's deficiency in a work situation. 
so poor workers with mental disorders may need support but they won't be able to accept the support and if they may refuse to accept but when you help the offer and sometimes when we are giving the help we feel frustrated and our mental health also gets affected and sometimes you might be able to recognize signs they are becoming unwell and when you are trying to make them well they think that you are pouncing into their private area so even though in family setup also even though it is in one cohesive unit there are boundaries for individuals so you may need to decide again together whether they want you to help or somebody else to help them to become or uh, if they are uh, to become unwell again and it is important to acknowledge that there is always limits to the support you can offer and uh, you have to have empathy at the same time in workplace uh, uh, we won't be able to stretch beyond the limits of the official timings. That is also one deficiency uh, which heard, uh, heard, uh, save, saves us a hurdle to uh, sustaining the mental, mental health of a worker in a workplace. And co-workers with mental disorder push away or say upsetting things. And you might find that they say or do upsetting things sometimes, such as when they are unwell. And they tend to take difficult feelings out uh, on those closest to them. So uh, many times uh, such people will uh, ventilate their uh, feelings by writing anonymous letters, by, uh, by motivating others uh, who are in uh, their lower cadre to freeze the session by not doing the work. And uh, by changing the decision which they take so that they are, they are recognized uh, uh, for a pseudo do work, meaning the outcome won't be there, but files will keep moving. Uh, they will be jumbling up the papers, but output won't be there. So we, I, we are just discussing of how we can maintain the mental health in our workplace. And if you are seeing such behavior, first thing you have to have is empathy try to do their work so that their burden is reduced then help comes and co-workers with mental disorder may, may push away that is emotional maintain emotional dis distance won't come when called for a meeting will be reading something else in a discussion instead of listening deviate from agenda and, uh, and they will slander during meetings so that they will show, uh, they want to show their power that they have upper hand over the person present there. And they break the rule and expect others to support. And they seek fa a false favor by being an extended arm of external agency. So uh, not always they get benefited, but they definitely such behavior distort the official organization climate. So, uh, and, but when you ignore them, they get upset if you leave ignoring them or not calling them for, for major discussions and expect to be involved, but they are, they are useless when involved. So need, needs a lot of sacrifice from the co-workers to uh, do the others' work who are affected by mental health, but working in a workplace. Then find it harder to be patient or get angry more easily. These are the behavior patterns when others uh, get offended by mentally uh, um, ill health of, uh, co-workers in a workplace. And feel convinced that you are somehow a threat to them, always opposed to the decision taken, forgetting in earlier attempts or supporting the decision in another earlier occasion. So they are basically attention seekers. So even in our home, uh, or sometimes small children or sometimes even adolescents, uh, they, they say mm, that, uh, the words, but they don't uh, do it in the second time. So th these are the small signs uh, which affect the mental health. And uh, um, the best way to handle such situation is empathy repeated sacrifice if you don't want to book them in or offend them but 
how they retaliate back to your good gesture will uh, won't be uh, will determine of how long you can sustain the empathy or your sacrifice in fulfilling the work of them in the workplace and it is understandable that you might feel upset or hurt but try to remember that they are dealing with difficult mood emotions or experience which may take some time out if you are finding things too difficult to talk to friends family or other caregivers for support and your mental health is also important whenever you are handling a, um, a person who is not to optimum mental health in a workplace you have to be more careful with your mental health because their behavior pattern will affect your mental health it will create frustration it will create enhanced difficulty to do the job so you have to ensure that your mental health is not affected when you are reaching out to do somebody else work in a workplace and you need to decide how much support you can offer and when to put your uh, own needs first so yeah, one of the signs when uh, others are not receiving is to show them that their work being done by the other person who care for them is out of good will nothing else and you may also blame for the way they are feeling sometimes they will start crying they will say you are not you are not for us that's why you are not including whereas if you include them it will take at least 4 5 months to complete the work but when you do without them it is just a days work so when you tell all that by their behavior pattern they they uh, start to cry and uh, you feel bad and you blame yourself you should not do that and feel helpless and frustrated that you can't help them feel better that also comes in I mean, especially in workplace because you can there is no calm uh, time uh, in a workplace there is one uh, beginning time and a peak time and a, a lag time and abrupt ending will be the suppose i have finishing some work in the closing hours and everybody is leaving and there is no relay i can give i have to remember the work for the next day also so i so it is so um, uh, lingering thoughts have to be carried to home also so all this will affect our mental health when we are uh, rendering uh, or doing the work of other co-workers who are not in optimum mental health and bear the brunt of their emotions and anger. Sometimes we feel they are not family members, then why I am taking so much load? That feeling will come. And isolation and loneliness, what you do matters a lot. But many a time, uh, the, uh, when there is poor mental health in a workplace, it gets organization climate gets affected. Employee dynamics will get augmented. And people will think that uh, every major, it's a majority uh, democracy. So majority, when they feel the same, they think that there is uh, somebody who is creating the problem. So the real problem of mental health gets undermined. So you have any such, any employee dynamics issues come, first you have to assess the mental health of the workplace, of the individual employees in the workplace and less time for years because you have to fill everybody's gap that also comes in and low self-esteem because the workforce is not working or uh, misbehaving calling names throwing file not adhering to the schedule due to mental health issue and the stigma of reporting such behavior to the higher authorities also as prevail as it will affect the individual employees their career, their uh, their uh, performance appraisal to be recorded. So generally, when mental health behavior manifestation is there in the workplace, uh, it is the, only the officer or the reporting officer, the reviewing officer who suffer, and it will affect the organization climate. But that is why the uh, the work mental health in a workplace has a very big uh, role to play. Uh, in the output of an institution. Output in the sense, the productive output uh, of the activities in an institution. And now coming to the mental health in a family, 
is something which you cannot choose. Family is something which you cannot choose. So it is God given and family dynamics play a huge part in how children relate to others, themselves and the world. So, uh, and family needs multitasking, executing multiple roles by an individual. And east or west home is best. Yes, that is the quotation we would have heard. But the reality is mental health of the family members determine whether the home is the best place or not. So mental health of individuals is important so that the family is happy collectively. And good habits start uh, uh, young. So there is a list of nine habits mentally healthy families practice on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis. You may ask why you touch to workplace first and uh, why you are touching family second. Yes, even though family contributes to the individuals of the workplace, the, uh, the workplace uh, uh, behavior patterns are mostly in our eyes because we would have experienced our, uh, even in our own home, the informal workers coming, how they behave, how they behave to our family uh, members, all that is in our mind. So you can relate the behavior pattern with the good habits which I am saying for the family. So engage in healthy communication. When it comes to healthy communication, it starts with uh, learning how to respond rather than to react. So responding is different from reacting. This takes practice. So how often have you said something in a fight that you regret uh, later? And uh, uh, you, uh, when somebody is uh, under stress or they are just relaxing some more time, one word would have destroyed their whole, uh, whole uh, day. And it is if the people say words are like uh, the toothpaste which has been taken out of the tube, you can't put it back. So it's hard to make the best decision when experiencing emotional ups and downs, not only in, in the, from the person who is talking, but also the person who is listening. That's why people say whenever there is a problem and uh, immediately our mental is shaken. Don't take the decision immediately. Let the problem dry. You just delay the situation and you take it. Uh, and you decide it later. And know how to regulate your emotions. Stepping back from the fight or taking time for yourself when you're feeling overwhelmed is crucial for healthy communication. And modeling emotional regulation for your children is also very important as a job of a parent, teacher, or mentor. And when we grow up also, how we react. Uh, see, we may be the best dad or mother or sister or brother in a family. But then why we are not able to behave in the same way in the workplace? Why we are the uh, problem creator in the workplace? So the emotional regulation is the main issue. So if you are, uh, if you are unable to behave well in the workplace, you have to regulate the emotional reg uh, regulation in your home first and the truth is healthy families fight they disagree they get angry with each other but the difference in a mentally healthy family is that the family members can express their disagreement in a healthy respectable manner no physical abuse or threats should be there so when you are expressing yes it is right and in one of the one of the famous quotations we encounter in workplaces, I am fighting with you officially, personally you can contact. No, that doesn't work out in a workplace. If you can't do your work right in the workplace, you won't be valued personally after the workplace time is. Maybe others are bound to engage you till your protective earnings here, maybe depending upon the age of your retirement or you be leaving before that. But after that, people won't recognize. They will always remember you, somebody has creating a problem. So how is your emotional regulation in your family, which gets manifested in your uh, workplace setup, is, is a question which you have to answer for yourself. And healthy communication goes beyond the words you say it, it depends upon your tone the facial expression and body language 
and many a time the non verbal cues are picked up more than what we say in our communication so you have to give both non verbal and verbal importance when you engage in healthy communication and actively listen to each other active listening is the other half of healthy communication and one is not possible without the other and even if you are pro at communication it doesn't get you far if you don't listen know how to listen many a time uh, we, we have encountered people who will, when we are talking to them they'll be walking out or they'll be uh, seeing the mobile and they'll be talking and going so in our place so this is not going to help us in any way when there is a problem in our workplace actively listen to each other of how we encourage it in a family is also important in a workplace and mentally healthy families know how to really listen to each other active listening means taking in what the other person is saying without judgment criticism or getting defensive and in a workplace the rules and regulations have to be adhered to many a time we expect uh, our, our seniors or reporting officer to bend the rule to accommodate our deficiency in our family setup and beyond bending we can to to one extent only we can bend the rule beyond that the rule gets broken so we have to be very cautious when we are um, uh, actively listening to each other and uh, doing our behavior defensive to the prevailing rules in a workplace setup and imagine uh, one family member or a child is trying to tell you how they feel and you keep interrupting them or giving them unwanted exercise advice it is not it's a, not an actively listening gesture this behavior is not going to encourage your child or any family members to come to you with their problems in future and when you speak out of turn to get or get defensive it co often comes from a place of anxiety or wanting to control a situation in those condition practicing calm techniques on day to day basis is recommended and we encounter such behavior more in the workplace than in the family so even though i have listed this under actively listen to each other gesture in a family for maintaining mental health so if you are if you always uh, uh, in a home you throw something while eating and so that you get to seek attention you will be doing the same thing in the workplace and it is not going to fetch you any positive credit for that behavior so we have to uh, practice some calming techniques to cool down so that the mental health in the workplace is sustained and set boundaries if you grew up and uh, being taught that uh, families we have to do anything for each other that is not a family without boundaries it, so we have to have a family with boundaries each one has yes suppose i am a, a child and uh, yes mother's duty is to provide parents duty is to take care yes but still after i finish i can at least put the plate in the sink so i need i have to set boundary of how much i should be helped how dependent i should be on me and how self anchoring i can be in such a well laid uh, protected uh, environment called family only when i can be self anchored in a family i can be a protective or uh, giving optimum result in the workplace so mentally health family set and respect each other's boundaries whether that means not bringing up a topic during family dinners or not entering each other's room without knocking first that is also one and setting boundaries within a family is a proactive approach to not getting overwhelmed and not forcing yourself into a situation which might lead to resentment yes everybody is for us in the family but they have boundaries so see uh, in by means of asking pocket money we cannot extract our parents full salary for as pocket money no that is not accepted similarly in the under the head of doing errands by our younger family members we cannot just throw all the delegate all the work and sit and watch the serial 
the entire day. No, that is not also not accepted. So while train under the head of training family members or getting help from family members, we should not uh, exploit individuals. So that is why setting boundaries help us to define that beyond this, yes, this child will get crushed. This family member will break down. And so their physical health uh, and mental health should not be affected when they are executing their multitasking or multiple roles in a family. And set an example by communicating with your family honestly and not letting others overstep you or own boundaries. And the next one is say sorry. In mentally health families, family members can recognize when they are wrong and admit their mistakes. And as yes, this includes for grown up also, saying sorry is not a weakness. So admitting when you are wrong as a parent doesn't diminish your authority. And in fact, it just reaffirms to your children or younger uh, family members that you are human and it's okay to make mistakes and acknowledging your mistake to your children or younger family members teaches them how to take up ownership for their actions so uh, and uh, so apologizing or asking pardon will uh, set right equilibrium in the family setup and celebrate each other's individuality see in a family somebody will be won't be seeing TV, somebody will be always changing channels and somebody will be engaged in some activity where their, won't, their, their existence won't be known. And happy households don't expect all family members to have the same opinion or interest. In fact, mentally healthy families value and celebrate each other's individuality and mentally healthy families don't pressure each other to conform to the norm or make any me member feel like they are the black sheep. And mentally healthy families recognize that differences are what makes them stronger. And lastly, mentally healthy families give each other the space they need to grow and evolve into better and sometimes different version of themselves. They don't stifle each other or pressure each other to do something they are not done. And uh, if you have seen uh, many of our own hobbies as adults were developed or nurtured by our family members who, are, who cannot even do a part of it, uh, part of what we are doing. So their attitude we cannot uh, forget when we grow even as an adult and act as each other's cheerleaders. Uh, have you ever felt the need to hide your dreams from your family? It might be felt isolating or even lonely or to pursue your interest without the support of the family. That's why struggle comes when there is no family support. And, uh, uh, and one uh, positive thing of uh, struggled family uh, achievement is that they become an expert in their workplace in that same sphere. So, uh, uh, oh, all, everything, every difficulty works out for good, but still act as each one's cheerleaders. In mentally health families, family members make it a priority to support each other. Even if you don't necessarily understand your family members habit or hobbies, it is important to show your support. You may, you can show your family members support by asking them questions about their interests learning uh, about their interest on your own time or accompanying them to an event even they uh, they are interested in and you are not interested and giving some financial support so that they can pursue their interest and uh, making self-care a priority you may ask what why in family when you have to spend for others why self-care is uh, needed but self-care in a family is much more relevant than most people think Taking care of yourself as a parent or as an individual is just as crucial as taking care of your kids or other family members. So in the, in the process of taking care of others, you should not neglect to take care of yourself. So if you are running on empty or uh, you won't be able to anything to give to your family, similar to putting on your mask before helping others, that is the Thing. Help yourself before you stretch out to others. 
we often forget to take care of ourselves too and mentally healthy families value each other as more than the role they play the mom dad or the older sister or the elder brother they they recognize that each other needs to nourish themselves as individuals so whether that involves getting a massage every month or going on a solo jog every morning family members or praying or uh, visiting somebody whom you are interested and uh, what they all want healthy families want their family members to take care of themselves and to prioritize it and even uh, if if you have seen this this uh, self care as a priority is more manifested in healthy families when people are going out for a job, uh, for a holiday have you ever noticed or recall when you were young happily taking all your toys or whatever small things you want and keep it in everybody's bag and so that at, at least somebody who doesn't uh, Uh, who up, uh, who doesn't mind uh, taking those small things in their bag at least something will reach the destination so that you can enjoy and when you have grown as an adult uh, sometimes the small children in our family they they study the elders of who is more accommodating and they bring all their small belongings and keep it in, along with their luggage so this is one way of how they are taking uh, exhibiting self care for themselves and that is a good habit and we have to nourish it and uh, the they also know that their family will grow stronger if individual members look after themselves too and talking about their feelings feelings are something that you give uh, you find families either talk about or they don't this is isn't something that happens by chance often children don't know how to verbalize their feeling they need to be shown by example as such it is important to cultivate an environment in which family members feel comfortable sharing their feelings so can you tell what happened in your workplace to your family members as soon as you reach home or suppose you are a problem creator in a workplace so can you go and boast in your family that you destroyed so many days and so many sir uh happiness in the workplace definitely no so talking about their feeling is one of the characteristics which has to be nourished in a family so that the uh, the feelings are in aligned with what is acceptable uh, to be exhibited in a workplace and more so in the society even if it is told uh, even a thief do not go and say to the family members that i have robbed so many so how much more we should be careful about our gesture in the workplace when we are bound to share our feelings in the family setup and as it is important to cultivate an environment in which family members feel comfortable sharing their feeling that means sharing your own feeling with your children and not shutting down your children when they come to you with negative emotions and it is in parents nature to not want their children to experience negative emotion but the answer isn't to suppress the emotion if somebody wants to cry see even when we have when we were small maybe in teenagers also we have seen our parents grandparents crying so why why a grandmother should cry in front of our parents she is expressing her negative emotions and somebody is that always to console to give a hug to say don't cry or uh, and uh, we will solve it and some help is reached out beyond the family also to solve those uh, the causative factor for the negative emotion and it is uh, it is to help your children or family members understand and cope with the negative emotions they experience so sometimes even in the workplace uh, when there is so much commotion or organization climate gets uh, defeated from equilibrium people get uh, negative emotions like crying isolating sometimes uh, the problem creator will be enjoying but the people who get offended will be um, uh, will be expressing the negative emotions 
so that is why mental health is very important in family and also in workplace and don't try to label any feelings as bad or unwanted in your household ensure that your children or family members know that all of their feelings are okay and accepted and prioritize quality family time so it means a healthy families don't just happen they are made in order to create a healthy family dynamic you have to make an effort to have fun with your family creating fun experience is a great way to bond with your family and learn more about them and it was told research says when people go out as a family on a picnic that's not engaged in routine family stuff activities like taking bath studying doing the homework um, mother cooking etc each one confide with each other many a time the children also go to uh, the elders and say in the years uh, see you last year we, when you scolded me i i am right you you instead of scolding brother you scolded me like that people confide and even sometimes younger um, family members they say they tell uh, the elder family members next time when i do a mistake please don't tell in front of small children like that so prioritizing quality family time like uh, having a game in night arts and crafts night or going out in a picnic or cooking something together or going on bowling or visiting a museum or taking a trip to the zoo will help us to engage in conversation which will give us a comfort zone in another member that is why the same concept is accepted even in the workplace of going on excursion but many a time in a workplace the um, deciding a place to go on on a workplace vacation itself become a big challenge because of the organization climate and employee dynamics so that is why mental health determine the family quality time and also the uh, the quality time which the workplace workforce in a workplace engaged beyond the office timing uh, get uh, uh, engaged and people can become more distressed if they see repeated images of a disaster in the media early on consider limiting the amount of exposure of you or your loved ones to get uh, to media coverage that is why we always say there should be a, a no use uh, time for the phone and uh, there should be a time set for to see the tv uh, or see, see something else of your interest and taking care of your emotional health during an emergency will help you to think clearly and react to urgent needs to protect yourself and your family so these are the things which contribute and we just want to uh, end with life skills for mental health see one of the things is we take the entire span of our career into our hand when we handle today's problem uh, so uh, similarly when we in a family setup we take the entire lifespan of that individual or lifespan of us uh, while deciding for a solution no it is not going to help so take one day at a time and do not worry about tomorrow concentrate on the role you have to play rather than what the other has to play it is very difficult to um, uh, bend somebody to align with the rules and regulations which are optimally right in the sight of family members at at the workplace but still we can be you uh, want see your conscience doesn't trick your moral gets enhanced your pers personality gets more defined and you stand out so concentrate on the role you have to play set the time for yourself yes i have helped so many family members i have helped so many persons in the workplace but still situation is not changing so what is the time for me uh for for me to upgrade so i study so yes there is so much unrest in the workplace and there is so much behavior modifications needed in the family setup let me study something upgrade myself let me spend some more time uh, for to enhance my mental health 
so that uh, uh, my uh, behavior doesn't get affected on the long run. And be bold to share your feelings or threats encountered, especially in a workplace because it is a uh, money generating source for employees or individuals. We do not share our feelings to others, especially when there are threats encountered, but that's not the right uh, aspect for uh, maintaining mental health. Be bold to share your feelings. Maybe sometimes even to the random person who comes, it helps. And sharing is caring. So in a workplace, somebody is sharing to you. And you, we know that we cannot do anything because we are much junior to them. But still you listen. Because sharing, is somebody is expecting to be cared, to ventilate their problem. And listening itself helps to ease somebody's stress level or frustration and to ensure their mental health. And take help when there is a problem, while in a problem or while encountering the problem, or because problem is not going to be the new. Somebody has already encountered it, and because you are born little late, you are encountering now. So there is always a solution for problem. So be optimistic to target at the solution rather than to highlight the effects of the problem in day-to-day -day life. And stay away from people who always pick up for others. This is more, uh, more a life skill which is needed in a workplace situation. Yes, you cannot, they will behave very well to outsiders. They will behave very well to even uh, union people or top management level. But when it comes to routine workplace situation, they will be always quarreling and deviating from the work to be performed. So please stay away from such a workforce and do not drain your energy to convince somebody that you are genuine. Many a time we feel to express, express ourselves that we are genuine and we are the one, we are not the one who have caused the trouble, but it is not going to help when there is majority going to blame on you. So, don't drain your energy to convince somebody that you are genuine. And keep updates about your family problem, office dynamics to well wisher. Just how every book has a reader, every individual will have some well wisher. We cannot say, I don't have any well wisher. And the surprise is, even how much of a difficulty you have or, that, or any individual have, that person is a well wisher for something somebody else so that is the ecosystem to maintain the mental health so whenever we have somebody calling up they won't be uh, taking any money from us or they we would not have done any good gesture to them but they will be taking the trouble to call us of how we uh, keep updating them about your challenges in both in family life and in the workplace and do not join those who oppress or suppress others Always, it is the equation which uh, the which uh, the which gets skewed. The balanced equation which gets skewed when there is somebody moving to oppress or uh, suppress others. So, so please don't join such person. This is more prevalent in workplace situation, and do not be a part of employee dynamic manifestation. Sometimes uh, one uh, random person will join another person. Uh, in the same uh, workplace situation and they will be targeting at the, somebody who has come outsourced employee or somebody to be removed. No, don't be a part of such employee dynamic manifestation because once you target at some individual, next time you will be used to target another individual. And the, the, the very sad part is the only the person who is in the front line will be identified. The person behind you who are pushing or who are forcing you to get this employee dynamic manifestation, they never come into the picture. So never be a part of employee dynamic manifestation. And do not do not initiate unrest. Yes, we may get angry, we may get frustration, but we should not be the cause for any mismanagement or any unrest both in family and also in the workplace and have spiritual intelligence trust in god yes that humanly it is not possible but god will give some 
uh, 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 solutions to this impossible situation and have emotional intelligence. Yes, I am sad, but that sadness is not going to affect how I perform my multitasking role, multiple roles in family and also in the, fam uh, in the workplace situation. And do not worry about your life for there is no wastage in God's economy. And uh, we also uh, take this opportunity to share uh, the information about Igno Retra Center, Kochi. And uh, the admissions uh, are still open. And if you are interested in any small courses like psychology um, for particular group, the courses are also available. But the, in Igno, we call the major degree or diploma as a program and the individual subject as courses. These courses are available in Swayam portal. And if you want to further study on this uh, topic and upgrade yourself or get accustomed, please freely download study materials are there in IGNU, not only on the subjects, on multiple courses uh, on offer at IGNU. And uh, we are, can we also be contacted at the email and you can uh, Follow us in the Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and the recording of this video will also be available in the YouTube channel of Igno Regional Center Kochi. So, with this, uh, before I uh, acknowledge and thank um, the team behind me to help this, I want to end with a small story. Uh, the uh, uh, owner was having a small donkey. The donkey became old. He threw into the uh, pit and he was throwing uh, mud. But the donkey was so optimistic. Every time the owner was throwing the mud, it was jumping and at one point it came eye to eye uh, with the owner and uh, said, I know because you have become old, you have, by mistake you have pushed me uh, into the pit. Now, and I also know your good heart that uh, you will rescue me. So when you threw the mud, I know you are trying to help. So I have climbed up. Come, now you can climb on me and I can. we can go. That is the optimistic attitude of the donkey. But it has a message for us to maintain our mental health. Is anybody throwing stones or mud on us? It's for us to get elevated to the next level. And the second thing is, the donkey knows when to keep quiet, not while throwing, when the uh, owner was throwing mud. Had he, uh, had the donkey raised the voice, oh, you're throwing mud, I'm jumping, definitely you would have stoned some thrown also, uh, stone also. So uh, you should know when to keep quiet, when to ensure that your mental health is right. And you should also know when to speak when you are, uh, to ensure that your mental health is uh, optimum. And the only way is that you forego others' uh, shortcomings, exhibit your optimism, uh, have spiritual intelligence so that uh, you can take one day at a time and move ahead. And remember, both in family life and workplace situation, little drops of water makes a mighty ocean. May, may, uh, meaning, even small deed today, will get accumulated into a big uh, task completion on long run. And uh, we play, I place acknowledgement to the authorities of IGNU for facilitating to conduct this virtual meeting on the eve of World Mental Health Day, that is 10th October. And technical assistance for this program was rendered by Sri Muhammad Ansar, AEDP. And the contents for the presentation has been documented from the websites uh, documented in the PowerPoint. So we have given the, uh, the acknowledgement so that you can revisit them and uh, you can do the self-learning. And back office operations was rendered by Madam Reshma Suresh. The typesetting and secretarial assistance for uh, preparing the PowerPoint and uh, the generation of the content was provided by um, Sri Archinaya, uh, ASO, REC, Regional Evaluation Centre, Kuchin. And uh, with this small presentation and the thought that it is up to you to be optimistic and optimism will increase 
when there is uh, a increased spiritual intelligence yes life is difficult but there are situations where you can get help from to move ahead when there is difficult situation and always difficulty is not going to be there there will be ups and downs and as it goes ups and downs sways in life the trust in god will help you to take along and always remember all the uh, all bad things need not uh, happen to destroy us it is like making a bread or a cake you put something everything has one one so baking soda salt flour sweet egg everything vanilla essence whatever it is and still everything has a one one taste but at the end the end product matters so all things will definitely work out for you to those who believe that you have spiritual intelligence trust in god and then also take everything uh, as it comes uh, instead of planning long term take one day at a time and uh, and one activity at a time and with this small thought we this end this session on men importance of mental health in family and also